today we go on with more example from the HTMX documentation in Common Lisp. We start with click to load. The goal is to make a table with a button and when we click the button more rows are loaded. We start HTML to CLU and a new project that depends on CLAC, Nigel and Spinneret and the main layout is composed of HTMX and Bootstrap. This is the button that will load new elements. We have converted it in lists and now we can serve it. For the moment there are no agents. Let's make the pagination. I want to load 10 agents. So the element will be from 10 times e to 10 times e plus 1 minus 1. We could define 10 as a constant. For each i I have to create a row. and we have to put everything in a table. Now let's load more agent. If there is the page parameter, we just return the table. Let's move everything in a function because we will use the main layout only if the page was not passed. If there was no page, end page will be nil. If end page is not nil, we just render the table with the page parse integer of end page. Otherwise, we render the main layout with the page zero. We have to remove the table from the function. There is still a problem with the indexes because I always use zero. And now it works. The next example is the lit row in which we can delete a row and there is an animation. For simplicity, we read data from a list. Now we have to load all the contacts. This is the code from last time, but we will have to change it a little bit. The last column will have to be a button. We can see that the ID is the right one. So we will use the delete method and we will return an empty response after having deleted the row from the list. The target will be read from the author table and will be the closest TR. We have to read the ID, delete the contact, and return an empty response. To delete the contact, I have to remove the nth element from the list. So we write the function remove nth that takes as input the list and the position if the list is not nil. 
and the position is greater than zero, then I can keep the element. And from the rest, I remove the element in position pos minus one. When I arrive at position zero, I just take the rest. And we want to use the method delete. It was not deleted from the list because I have to update contacts. We still miss the transition because I have to add the CSS. I can add them in the layout. And, and now we have also the transition. Let's go on with the next example. And now we have also to add an edit button. We try to keep the same page and we have just to add this button. We can see that he is using hyperscript so we have also to include it. I have to disable attribute validation for hyperscript because we have the underscore attribute. And now we have both buttons. We have to implement a get to this root and it will have to return this. Without the layout because this is just the snippet with the row. We have to read the ID. And we have also to read the contact. We just added the first name. For last, we will need another input. Macros are expanded at compile time, so I had to put the setf of the validation for Spinneret inside an eval when at compile time. Now the fields appear and I still have to implement cancel and save. Cancel just replace this line with the previous one. So I have to move this line in a component. I have to take as input the index i. And read the contact. is compiled, I still have to pass i here. Slash contacts still works, now I have to add the request to get. And this one is slash contacts slash id. I just return contact component of id. Finally I can implement save, which is a put to the same address. We already implemented it the previous time but we do the update only if first, last or email are not nil, because for example, this time we don't pass last. This time the name is just name. It was updated and we can see that it works. For today, this is all. Let me know in the comments if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe.